what is up guys welcome back to Cubesable editing tips of the week um, I know it's been some months since uh, the last episode but I will try to schedule my uploads properly and uh, get some weekly editing tips out to you guys um, this week was pretty hard because I had really like well I, I did have motivation but I had no ideas as of what I could make this tutorial about um, but I picked something that I found find really useful uh, in Sony Vegas which is called envelopes and um, some of you might know this already uh, so just skip this video um, but those of you who have never heard about envelopes uh, I suggest you watch this till the end because it is really helpful um, in some situations and um, for those of you, for those of you <laughs> wondering what this uh, purple line is um, in my audio track, that's an envelope, and um, it adjusts the volume instead of like when I have a cut here, instead of having to render out this piece and fade it like like this, you can't fade um, onto another file, but you can with uh, audio um, envelopes and um, the way these are used. It's pretty simple. Um, you right click on the track that your audio file is on and you click insert slash remove envelope and uh, in this case I have chosen volume. You can use pan as well and mute. Um, pan gives you the opportunity to uh, switch from left to right um, or well to pan from left to right so to say. Um, and this gives kind of a nice effect if you use uh, headphones. It will go from the left cup, ear cup, to the right ear cup, and um, so forth uh, until you go back to center. Um, and uh, this method can be used if you're working with uh, advanced uh, sound effects. For example, I saw, um, I don't remember the name of the clip, but it was really great. Uh, I I know I don't remember, um, but what he did, uh, he added like uh, what is it called, like swoosh sounds and such stuff uh, to um, to the the models that he killed. Like when they fell to the ground, it would make a certain sound, and um, he kind of made it the the, the sound he made it um, in an, in some kind of three D space. Um, by panning the sound from left to right so if the enemy died uh, at the left side of the screen he would pan the the sound effects to the left so that it fits um, and same goes for the right and, and it gave a really amazing cinematic feel when watching the clip um, I was first uh, watching it on speakers and I thought well the sound effects doesn't really make sense and then I put on some headphones um, and I, I saw it again and, and I was just blown away because of this method that he used and, and sound effects alone really give your clip something outstanding um, to be quite honest with you the visual part of increased value 2 is not I, I mean it, it hands down it's nothing special um, but the sound effects really made it worth a watch uh, I think and and that's why it was liked so much uh, I believe I, I, I honestly don't think that increased value 2 would have been worth a watch without the sound effects that I put into it and uh, that was really like the biggest part of that edit was the sound part and the sound design that took really really long time to make um, but enough about that you can hear the result of the panning um, goes like left right left right and uh, and that's it. I don't like it like used in this way but it's just to demonstrate uh, how it works this is like fading you'll be able to hear it in the intro or well, you heard it in the intro already um, and uh, it, it, it works um, for visual uh, tracks as well, video tracks as well. Uh, in, 
inset. I was about to swallow my own tongue there. Sorry, my English is bad. Ingling or English. I <laughs> I'm going to cut that out. I think. No, I'm not. Insert slash remove envelope and then um, composite level. That brings you the opacity. Uh, you can turn it up and you can turn it down. That's also really um, helpful in some situations. Um, also, you have the fade to color, which is pretty much the same thing. You can adjust the color though. So it fades to black here, but fades to white here. I mean, that's kind of how it works. This is white. And this is black, and um, then you have the then you have the fade to color, which um, lets you fade to either white or black. The bottom one is black, I think. Yeah, and the other one is white, like this. So it goes like that, and that can be. It, it can be helpful at times. I, I never really used it in my clips myself, but in some uh, editing tasks it might be helpful. I don't know. Hell, it was just like to show you what you're capable of doing with this technique. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. For more tutorials, subscribe on the show or on the TubeSable channel. Um, remember, guys, I'm doing this. Um, for you guys uh, to learn some techniques and such stuff um, and that's basically it so if you knew this already I'm sorry um, I'm making these up from my own knowledge uh, and I won't make like step-by-step -step tutorials I will make tutorials that you can apply to your own style and your own editing um, and I, I, f I think that a lot of people uh, think that they are going to follow a tutorial step by step and have the exact same outcome and then be happy with it and that's not really the case um, you, you shouldn't be happy because everyone can follow a step by step tutorial and get an amazing outcome um, but taking techniques from the tutorial and applying to applying it to your own style that's the hardest part and and that's kind of where I'm trying to go with this show um, so I hope you enjoyed and uh, you can post some comments uh, you can rage you can flame I don't really give a fuck um, I hope you liked it peace out guys